What's up guys, T-Rex and Mixtape God right here with T-Rexmedia.com Be sure to check it out, let me know what you think about it Also, check out my other channels right here I did just start shorts channel and also I do have a music channel right here It's gonna be the first link, right below that like button Let me know what you really think about that one it's Gonna be really interesting, there's a lot of good stuff going on around there Now, we all love really cheap budget, inexpensive microphones right here And today, I have one that you actually really are going to recognize which is the PreSonus M7 and I do have another one which I like to call the underdog of microphones which is the EM91C from Marky. Now these two are both condensed microphones as you can see there's no USB right here so they both can have an XLR cable but which one of these is going to be the absolute best for you if you're looking for something to pick at a really affordable price without wasting too much time let's actually dive right straight into it. Now it's very important for you to know that I do have full reviews on these two microphones right here they are going to be linked right below the like button also in the card right there let me know what you really think about them and also if you want to pick out one of these for yourself I do have links right in the description box right down below we can actually get these two microphones and also any other thing that you see right there behind me all of it I'm gonna link right to it in the description box right down below now first of all let's start with the pricing of these two microphones now you have one of them that comes up about $80 right here and you have this one that comes up the M7 so about $99 right here if you are going to buy this solo now bear in mind if you do want to get this as a bundle set it's going to be a lot more expensive with being that it comes with you know a lot more stuff and we're going to talk about that in just a sec but if you're getting this solo it's going to be about $99 now who do I give it to right here I'm going to give it to the marquee because coming out about $80 it does come out a bit cheaper so that actually just some people just want something really cheap really affordable if you're one of those that's watching this video then the market already wins in the price point so that is one to the market and zero to the PreSonus M7. Now let's talk about the design and durability of these two microphones. Now we start off with the marquee right here and what we see is that we have a really sleek, ergonomic, smooth and portable design and a really nice feel to the touch with this one. There's a lot of metal, the build is really solid and doesn't actually feel really cheap as compared to the price on like other microphones. Now we'll pick up the M7, it's a little bit similar but also it's kind of a little bit different. Now these are all really super light, sleek and smooth design as well there's a lot of metal on this one but somehow kind of feels a bit cheap though and not so durable just like the marquee so i'm gonna give it to the marquee right here it comes up a little bit sleeker and being that it's also a lot smaller there it's a lot more portable for you to just carry on around so i'm gonna give this one right here to the marquee so that's two to the marquee and zero to the presonus m7 Let's move on. Now we'll talk about connectivity right here. We start off with the marquee and this connects via your standard XLR cable right here. And it was very fine with any sort of door or audio interface that you just throw at this. In addition to that, you do get a shock mount that actually comes bonded up with this one. Now moving on to the M7, this also connects via an XLR cable that's actually included in the box if you do get it with a bundle set that is. And it also does come with Studio One, the HD7 headphones, and also the PreSonus Audio Box 96 Studio. But that is if you get this as a bundle set. Now am I gonna be a little bit biased right here and give it to the PreSonus M7? Yes, a little bit because you do have that option if you spend a little bit more in order for you to get a lot more stuff that's actually gonna come with it. It's a really nice, fantastic deal. I do have the black edition and also the regular edition linked down right below. So if you wanna pick that one up for yourself, just go right down there and just check it out. It's an amazing deal and you do get all of that if you do go for the right bundle set. Now let's talk about sound quality, which is something so many people are going to be really interested in. And it's really gonna surprise you when we talk about this one. But just before I mention that sound quality or let you listen to it, I do have to talk about J Black right here and you can ignore that these are absolutely beautiful and fantastic Italian acetate blue light lenses you can actually get this prescribed if you actually want to there's a whole host of designs you can actually customize pick actually what you want from the website so what are you waiting for there's amazing deals and it is super affordable even if you want to go for the prescribed version of this i do get mine in blue light just because i do work with a lot of screens and all that all the time i'm always in front of a computer so i do like to protect my eyes and now even if the sun's not all that out right now you do get a lot of options i can actually get with this and i'm gonna throw in a 10 percent discount if you use the code life of t-rex link is right below in that description box right there go right ahead check it out 
the holidays are coming there's a whole lot of stuff that you can actually go around and just pick this up for yourself and just let me know what you really think about it now let's move on to the sound quality of these two microphones so for this testing i'm actually hooking this up right there so the onyx produced you 2.2 from marky and i also have the mc350 headphones also from marky now recording with the em91c let's start off with that one you can actually hear what the audio is like i'm just recording straight into studio one right here you can actually see the sound rejection if i say like but and all that and you can actually hear just what it actually sounds like and how it actually really deals with those sort of situations now really sleek really nice really amazing i did call this one of the most underrated budget i'll say i actually say this is like my most underrated budget headphones that you can actually get right now because it doesn't get that much attention now look at the distance that i'm at if i come a little bit closer right there i'll have a look at studio one right there you can actually see but i did turn up the gain settings just a little bit and now is it the best audio no but is it audio that i can actually really work with yes now unfortunately i cannot compare this directly to the presonos m7 because now one thing i'll tell you is with this one you're working with a cardio polar pattern right here and with the presonos you have a super cardio polar pattern right there as you can see it now i cannot show you this because my m7 does not work anymore before i try to do this testing i still try to see the thing is the audio it does record but it's not going to give you anything reasonable that i can actually share with you guys right now so the only thing i can just tell you is the sound quality is a little bit similar to this one a little bit similar but it's not as great as this now if you're working if you do get this as a bundle set have that in mind that this might not last you for so long mine did last for about say maybe a year before it stopped working and or maybe not up to a year actually maybe more like eight months but that's just an unfortunate event i'm gonna leave a link in the video so you can actually just check it right there and just see what happened with that and i tried everything there's no solution to bringing this back to life but that is actually one of the things that you just need to look out for now the sound quality is not bad it's actually really good it records well it takes in sound okay ish but you do really need to turn up the settings if you're using this one and if you do really know what you're doing then yes this can actually get you some really nice in fact i'm gonna leave a link right up here because i don't want to say the title of that song so i don't get this video demonetized or blocked or something but it's dude all by me and Sama, this was actually what recorded that song and a lot of people are still really surprised about it till today we did that it was just something we just played with garage band and this and all that and it came out really really nice hooked up to a scarlet as well so um looking at that with scarlet there's a pre sonos that one and then the h the um and then the hd7 headphones it was really really nice so just do if you want to check that out just check out the song just gonna link it up here and you can check spotify everything you know all of my stuff if you want to find that link it's all right there and all of that so um that's about it for how the audio does record and yeah let's move on to the final verdict for this one so what's my final verdict on this one well what i'm gonna say is that based on what you've heard so far and what you've actually seen in these two comparisons I'm gonna give it to the marquee right here. The EM91C is a very underrated microphone that most people do not know about and it actually outperforms this one if this was still working just from my history of using this, okay? And what can I actually tell you is that, yes, this is a great option, don't get me down. You can actually grab the bundle set if you do want to. It's gonna be really affordable and it's gonna save you a lot of money rather than buy that. But what I would say is, don't count too much on this. Mine might just be an unfortunate event as I've said, but don't just put all of your hope in this one. At some point, you're going to need to upgrade the microphone. But this, if you do buy this right now, you might actually get some good use of this before you actually think of upgrading this because eventually you might, depending on what you're doing, again, it also falls down to what you're doing and personal preference is how I really love to address my videos. I don't just tell you, hey, go ahead buy this one or go ahead and buy this one this is a lot better than this there's always an option for every single person so it still depends on what you're doing and the situation that you know you're going to find yourself in like for me i do make music i do have microphones i can use there for um zoom calls and also voiceovers but when i'm looking for something to actually make music definitely it's not going to be this one or this one i do have more expensive ones right there that i'm going to use but in order for all of this testing some people may not be able to buy that so you'll be looking for something that's a lot cheaper at $80 or $99 you know the balls in your court but I would really suggest this one just because you don't want to put all of your mind on this but even if you still want to get the bundle set at this 
You can actually go ahead and grab it. You have some spare change left. Go ahead and grab this just as a backup. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Okay, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. And also, give this video a thumbs up so it does tell the YouTube algorithm that, hey, you know what? I did like this comparison. And my other comparison from my phone did really, do, really, did really, really well. So thank you guys so much for that. I really love the argument that I see in the comment section right down below. You guys keep that coming. Let me know your thoughts on this too if you have them. If yours is still working, tell me in the comment section right down below. And I'll see you around. Peace out.